on this episode of Fort Space, we're going to finally get this guy off the trailer. So after some careful consideration and a good night of sleep, I decided the easiest way to get this off here is to put the suspension on there and just put some wheels and just roll it off. So we'll go ahead, put the suspension on. It's just going to be the A-arms and then we're going to use some push rods or something to just hold it in place for the height and go from there. So let's go ahead and get the suspension on there and then set our height so we can roll it off. And when I said that this is designed for C5 suspension, you can see the retainer holes are designed to retain the upper A-arm right there. Same with the bottom. It's designed to hold the bottom A-arm. So it's gonna be pretty easy. We just gotta take, put this in there, and bolt it up. Next step, so we got these affixed in here. Next step, we're gonna cut out this two by four down here, back at the center point, and then we should be able to put the wheels on, and then we can measure out how much of a standoff we need to get it up and rolled off here. Oh, I almost forgot. We need to put the steering shaft in here just so we can hold these spaced out properly. side here's these tie rods the wheels are pointed slightly towards the inside right now 
So I don't know if I'm gonna touch it for now. We'll see if it'll roll off. But we'll go ahead to cut these two by fours too. And then get the wheels on there. And then from here, we need to brace it up to here. I decided to go ahead and get the rear wheels straightened out a bit. Don't have to be perfect, but they were a little too far towed in for my liking. That looks good enough. So we got the toe pretty okay-ish on uh, the two wheels. Uh, front ones could use a little bit of an adjustment too. Uh, we'll see how hard it is to roll it, but at least these will be mostly straight, so it should be fairly easy. Next, we got to do a brace up in here on all four corners. Make sure we get enough lift so we can easily roll this off. Pick this back up tomorrow. Almost like a real car. Well, it's bright and early the next morning. I have some material, so we've got some thick half inch all thread. And then we have this guy, probably gonna get cut in half to be our supports for holding this up as we roll it off. So I'm gonna go open this clamshell back up and see how all that needs to settle. All right, for back here, we're gonna use the all thread. We're gonna take, put a bend in it, lock it in here, and then run it through this hole down here. And then use the, a bolt and washer to just space it out as we need it. So I'll go ahead and bend up the all thread, just put a big old bend in it and then drop it in there. After looking at bending it, I didn't want to do that. So we're gonna do this. And we're gonna just weld this guy on here like this. And then repeat for the other side. We gotta cut it shorter because it's too long, about six inches. more complicated because we've got to take it from here down to that. We've got to take this guy off of the wheel back off, put the brace in there, and then we'll put the wheel back on. 
So hopefully you guys can see how much it's towed in. So I went ahead and loosened this, and then I'll go ahead and bring it out until it's pretty close. She rolls. Uh, I'm gonna put some wheel chocks on the back wheels, front and back, make sure it doesn't roll away. And I think we're ready to uh, take a round to the garage and unload her. Well, I forgot about this guy. This guy runs all the way across. The screws are about right here, so we can't take the screws out. And I can't get a sawzall under here. So you guys get to watch him struggle with this little guy for a while. Ow. Yeah, that splinter's in there good. Mm. All right, I'm gonna go cut that out. Thank you. 
Got in the garage, got in the lift. Not, of course, without a hassle. One of those pieces of all thread ended up kinking up and bending. So that was no good and we had to use the jack to support that wheel to push it in. But it's in here and we can finally get started on the project. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you next time.